Right. Yeah. I want a coffee. Where are we gonna go? I don't care. I want the best coffee. And Hachi does too. Okay, so we're trying to find the best coffee drink in town. Hachi's gonna be with us for the first part of this trip, but we have one day and we sent out a question on our Facebook page for what everyone liked is their best coffee place in Central Florida. How much caffeine can you have in one day before it becomes fatal? Three. We're gonna find out. I'm gonna see if I can vibrate. All right, let's get coffee. All right, so we just got our drinks. We got the Smokestack. Um, they didn't have any sugar-free flavors. I like very sweet, so this will be interesting. I like very sweet. She does not like very sweet. We got the same thing. It looks like it has cinnamon on top of it. I'm assuming we're supposed to swirl this around. All right. Cheers. Oh my God, that's so sweet. It's really good. Wow. <laughs> I like it. Fantastic. Um, there's, there's maple syrup in here. Maple bourbon, some sugar or something like that. Great. Now I'm drunk. All right. So, so far, this goes at the top of my list. It's really good. Because it's, I mean, it's the first one on the list, so it has to be at the top. Where do you put Vesper? It's Vesper number one. All right, Vesper, you're number one on both of Well, because there's really no other choice. There's, you're the only one on the list. I mean, you know what? I'm going to put Vesper in the middle, and then they can either move up or down. Oh, I'm going to move it all around. And it was cute in there. It was nice and chill. Mm -hmm. Seems like a great place to, like, study. A lot of um, young college girls were studying in there. Um... I don't think your ring's thick enough. I took it off when I went in. All right, so next up is a place called Ice and Bites. Mm -hmm. Thank you. We just left Ice and Bites where we had a Vietnamese coffee with cotton candy on top of it. It was really good. The way to drink it, I think, is you put the cotton candy in your mouth and then take a sip. Uh, it was really good. Um, I'm putting it for right now, I'm putting it right underneath Vesper. How about you? Same. Right underneath Vesper? Yeah, Vesper, I don't know, it was like that, that like maple syrupy flavor in that drink was... I think we're both talking faster now because the second caffeinated <laughs> drink is kicked in. Caffeine! <laughs> Alright, so we just dropped off Hachi and now we're on our way to the two on our list that are closer to us. One is a staple and that one is Axum Coffee. Like that's a staple of Orlando, I would say definitely in Winter Garden. Uh, but a lot of coffee shops have Axum coffee in them. Um, and then what's the name of the other place? Um, Piccolo. But it's not its own freestanding place. It's actually in a deli. So we have to go find it. But it came highly recommended by a couple friends. Um, I would, like normally, I would go, oh, it's not a coffee shop. It's in, it's, a, it's in a deli. And I would cast severe judgments. But after having experienced DG Donuts, which is in a gas station. Ew. Uh, I won't judge any place by where it is ever again. All right, so we just got back in the car and the way we're doing this is if the restaurant is empty, uh, we'll try to do our drink inside and get a little bit more of the atmosphere. But if it's packed, um, like Axum is pretty crowded right now, we're gonna come out to our car because uh, we don't want to be around all that. But I ordered uh, what was recommended on our Facebook post by someone, which is the creme brulee latte, and you got? The coconut cream pie latte with almond milk. How is it? It is 
absolutely delicious. Like it reminds me if you're like on a holiday in the tropics, but it's cold in the morning, so you want a hot coffee, but it tastes like a holiday. Yeah, so that's very specific. <laughs> if you're on holiday and you're cold, but you want to be in the tropics, then that's the drink for you. It's so good. Um, creme brulee latte is really good. Uh, like I said, Axum is a staple in town, and I'm putting it right in the middle of my list for now, which moves Vesper up one, uh, and I think I'll split split it. I think I'll put Vesper up uh, above uh, Axum, and then Ice and Bites right below Axum. I might do the same for now, but I might play around. Of with my course, list. of course, she's gonna do the same. You can't think for your. All right, so we just got to our, our next location, which is Delhi Downtown, which is literally a three minute walk away from Axum. I've already finished my coffee and... I mean, I'm savoring this because it's delicious. But plus this place is only like a stone's throw away. It's like three minute walk. Here she is. Little miss, come up with your own things to say. Caffeine! Yeah! Alright, so... We're not reviewing the food. We're just really hungry. And coffee is literally all we've been eating. Um, it's a lot of bean soup. <laughs> so I got the eggnog latte, which he said was a popular holiday choice and you got the lavender latte with oat milk um mine's really good mine's really good too it's really good uh, was there more to that sentence <laughs> no because now it's like all the coffee's so good and everything's so different but it's so good like i think i'm putting this above axum in my list like i said axum is good so far i haven't had a bad one Axum is good, but I think this is better than Axum. Um, but I don't know if it's better than Vesper. Vesper was really sweet, but the taste of it was so good. Yeah, and I like my coffee to basically be candy. Um, and that's the risk that I take when I'm saying what's popular, because sometimes you go to a place where psychopaths drink their coffee and it's just This place black is cute coffee. inside too, by the way. Like, you can totally hang out. And there's a deli, food. There's beer and wine. Yeah, no. Okay, we are at our next stop. Kevin! Which is Holy Grain Coffee Shop, where they have coffee uh, that was um, handcrafted by Jesus himself. Do you know how he makes it? He brews it. Don't you ever steal my punchline. Okay. Uh, it was a little crowded on the inside. Yes. But we got the toasted marshmallow latte. Would you like to do the honors? It's gonna be hot. It's all right. It's all right. Right now, it's 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 not my favorite on the list that we've had. I don't think there's anything bad that we've tried so far. There's just nothing, yeah, but there's nothing unique about that one. Right. I mean, the flavor sounds fun. I like toasted marshmallow. It's perfect for this weather. I also don't understand. Is this, is this a religious place? Holy Grain? I thought that's what I've heard. I don't know. If, if anyone knows why it's called Holy Grain, mention it in the comments. Uh, but we are going off to another stop, which means we have to chug this one. We only got one. I don't handle caffeine a lot. I used to just be a tea girl, mostly. Mm -hmm. And D's. Nuts. D's nuts! Don't you ever steal my punch, So we're on our way to our next location. Achilles. Achilles I've actually been to a lot. I do like Achilles, but it, it comes up on everybody's list of cool coffee places in town. So we just left Achilles, and um, it's so cute in there, and they have sandwiches and soups and... But we're only 
judging coffee. No, I know, we didn't eat, but um, I'm just saying the place is really adorable. They sell art on the wall, the coffee. They have some flavored coffees, they had regular coffees, they had flavored chai. I teas. had the cinnamon roll latte, and you had the. Uh, coconut macaroon. And I would probably put it uh, on par with Axum because I got the whoa, same flavor. Whoa, whoa, you can't. There's no tie. Well, it'll work out in the end. Don't worry. Calm down. There's no tie. There's no tie. We'll see what happens later. We still have a lot of coffee to drink. We are now leaving Metro West. I keep hitting the camera on this stupid tiny car. Maybe you're just big. I got you on camera. I got you on camera saying that. You can't take it back. You can never take it back, not even in a fight. All right, so we are, we just parked, we're downtown Orlando and we're on our way to a place called Crafton Common. <laughs> um, parking. Yeah, parking is an issue, but it's an issue everywhere downtown. But Crafton Common, we've actually been to before and it's a really good coffee place. I'm excited to compare it to the places that we've been so far. Thank you. All right, so we got our craft in common. Commonly crafted. Um, is that what yours says? No. Oh. Um, what did you get? Uh, the apple pie matcha. It's a seasonal drink and it sounded amazing. So I got oat milk in it because... Oat milk. Um, and I got normal people milk and I got the dunes, which is a latte with condensed milk and orange. orange. Oh, there's orange peels on the top. We've been here a couple times. I've always loved it. I'm excited about this. Damn craft in common. It is really good. Oh, was my drink in your face? Sorry. It is a really good drink. Craft in common. What makes me even more angry than how good it is, is that I have to move everything down the list. So it's making me work. Ew. This is weird, uh, but I wanted to try something different. It's good if you like matcha. Mm, gosh, that's, that's really so good. much of coffee. My real debate that I'm having right now is, is this better than the smokestack from Vesper? Mm, let me try it again. It's really good. It's that, it's that subtle hint of orange. Man, that's really good. And you know what? Vesper it was so sweet. But that's what I like. I like sweet. Yeah, but for a, co a craft coffee drink, this is fantastic. All right, Crafted Common. Damn it. You're number one right now. <laughs> I have to bleep all of that. All right. It has condensed milk in it. Shut up. It's so good. Uh, but, Craft and Common is empty. We need to get more coffee. Let's go to Drunken Monkey! Okay. Are you feeling okay? Well, you need a good gutter dump and then you can... It's so gross, stop saying that. Poo pudding, sloppy plops. If you have a better term than gutter dump, leave it in the comments down below. Drunken Monkey is a staple in town. It's been here forever. The irony is it's called Drunken Monkey. There's no alcohol there. There are a lot of vegan options, uh, but don't worry, they have stuff for normal people too. better than I remember it being. It basically, it tastes like, um, it tastes like chocolate milk, but it's really good chocolate milk. We just got back in the car from Drunken Monkey, um, and like I said in there, mine's good. It tastes just like chocolate milk. And mine tastes just like chocolate soy milk. Yeah, hers tastes exactly like mine, uh, except at the tail end of it, there's that powdery soy aftertaste. 
but it's good. I'm actually... The last time I was here was a long time ago. And the Mojo Jojo is their most popular drink. And the last time I had it, I was like, it's not that great. This time I'm really digging it. Um, I don't know. I'm, I'm assuming my tastes have changed. I don't think they've changed it to, to accommodate me. Although everyone should. All right. Um, on to get more coffee. Uh, so this is my drink from Lineage. It's the salted peppermint mocha, or spum. You could have fun with <laughs> Sharpie right now. Um, so basically, what we've also been doing is when we go into these places, we ask what's your most popular drink, and they usually give us a list, and we pick from that. So we haven't really been going at the the menus and cherry picking, um, but let's try this out. good. I think you would like this because it's not too sweet. It does have that um, that hint of saltiness. That is good. I'm not a huge fan of salty beverages in my coffee. All right, we just pulled up to our last stop, which is Create Coffee. With a Q. With a Q. C curate. Curate. Que que curate. I guess that would make sense. No, but I think it's Create. You're Create. And it's a really cool coffee shop. We have been in here once before. Uh, and it's like a photography studio. And um, I guess they rent out space for the studio. And uh, when we did walk in, there were tons of visual artists sitting around their computers working on stuff. So that was kind of cool. Um, but let's do it. Um, which I got the Coquito Puerto Rican Eggnog and Espresso. Um, he said don't shake it, but all right. No, he said to shake it. Like a Polaroid picture, which you're not supposed to do. Ooh. Yeah? Ooh. I do love Coquito. Oh. Oh, that changes a <laughs> lot. All right, so we finally made it home. Um, and we have gone through our lists. We've debated, we've gone back and forth, and we both have finalized what we think, in our opinion, is the best coffee shop in town. Drunken Monkey. That was a surprise for me. Uh, because the last time I went to Drunken Monkey, which was years ago, I got the exact same drink and I didn't as like it as much as I did today. Um, so Drunken Monkey, boom, right in the middle. Uh, my number five is Vesper, which I love, but again, uh, a lot of sugar, but it's great for people who like a lot of sugar. All right. Mm -hmm. Number four for me, Achilles. Achilles is such a cool place. We're not judging it off of the place itself but their, their lattes are incredible. And they were out of the Butterbeer Latte, which is one of their popu most popular lattes uh, when we went, and that tells you how popular it is because they were out of it. Um, but what did we end up getting? We got the uh, cinnamon roll latte. Yeah, and I got the um, something. It's in the video. <laughs> uh, yeah, Achilles, it was really good is really good. And the fact that it wasn't crazy busy there, we got to sit down and actually drink it inside without being worried about getting the Rona. So what did you get for number four? Uh, I have Axum. Um, it's a it's a reliable go-to here in uh, Winter Garden. I like it. For me, Piccolo. Piccolo. 
Piccolo for me was the dark horse of this experience because one, I didn't know Piccolo even existed before we did this. It's right up the street from us. Two, it's in a deli that I'd been in before, but it wasn't there the last time I was in that deli. Um, three, it was really good. Like it was really, really good. Um, I had the eggnog latte and um, man, out of nowhere, Piccolo in Winter Garden, number three for me. Uh, my number three was Create. I really liked it. Uh, the pistachio coffee was fantastic. But that's not what you had this time. But that's what I'm basing it off of because that's the time I could handle coffee. Okay. Uh, have you pooped yet since we've been home? No. I did. Like. You know, it was, <laughs> it was, it was like uh, 10 coffees pouring out of me at once. Number two for me, Vesper. Again, that's another one of those ones I'd never been to. We weren't even going to go there. Yeah, out by UCF. <laughs> we both had the smokestack. So far, I mean, wow. It was surprising. It was really good. And when I saw it, I honestly didn't think I was going to like it um, just based on the look of it. But it was delicious. Um, what did you have for number two? Uh, piccolo. I liked it. Um, I forgot what I had there, but it was, it stood out. I think maybe because it was a hidden gem and I wasn't expecting it, so it was. Sorry. Down. Um, she loves me. But nobody else. Yeah. That's how I like my women. To love me and nobody else but me. Number one. Number one. Uh, by, by far, by far the best on the list. We tied on this one. Damn, Craft in Common. Why are you yelling? Stop it. No more caffeine for Todd. By far, Craft in Common, number one. So good. If you are anywhere remotely near Orlando, go downtown. Parking is kind of a hassle because it's downtown parking, but man, so worth it. So worth it. Yeah, they're in there, super friendly in there, cute art, cute um, uh, note cards and stuff. I think it's kind of random, but it's super cute. Like very unique Florida, Orlando art. Yep, and, and uh, they have regular milk or? Oat milk. See? And they also have outdoor seating. Hold on, muffin, stop. <laughs> what do you? Our cameraman's being aggressive right now. <laughs> Camera lady, I'm sorry. Yep, yeah. you hear that? Oh my gosh, you're so heavy. She's on diet food right now too. Uh, when I call her heavy, I get yelled at. Uh, so, 10 coffees in a day, it can be done. Um, no. Yeah, well, eight coffees in a day for some. Uh, you need a coffee? Yeah, you're cleaning that mess up. <laughs> uh, Craft in Common, congratulations. Right now, you are the reigning champ of best coffee in town, but there will be a part two. Again? <laughs> yeah, okay. yes. We'll do it on the same day that we do the part two of the donut video. Uh, so, go get yourself a cup of coffee. Bye. Bye.